culture of Clayton Utes, I would say that the culture is very diverse. We have within our partnership lots of different partners from different practice areas. I think we're a culture that embraces difference. We have around 1,400 partners and employees. We did a very extensive search. We looked at the obvious uh, large uh, vendors. We also looked at other best in breed or specialist vendors. It was quite a long process because we had to think very carefully about what exactly we wanted the system to do for us and how we wanted it to support us in engaging our business and our employees around this process. So we did look at a number of uh, different options and it was really the the, uh, the interface for the user, the, the simplicity, the agility of the system, and also the back end, the ease with which we could create reports and handle our processes that um, we decided to, to choose PIP. It was also very much the influence of, of PIP. We, when we met PIP, we, I found in PIP a partner that we could work with closely with as a firm. I admired her experience in the industry. That was probably one of the deciding factors. I think it was the flexibility of the project plan that worked best for us. Like I said, because we needed to spend some time thinking about what our requirements were and being very purposeful about what we wanted to build, I found that dealing with, a, dealing with Pivot there, there, was some, there was agility there in how they were able to handle our requests. So yes, there was iteration at some points. At some stages we would, would, would go down one path and decide we have to go down another. And it was really the ability of Pivot to, 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 to cope with that iterative process in those, in that, during that development phase. For me, one of the best technical aspects of the system is that it enables the user to interact with the system in the way that they need to. So that distributed access means that whether you're in my role, where I need to have oversight of the entire process, or whether I'm a business partner who needs to have access in their own right, or using the feature of impersonate, business, our business uh, our business partners are able to interact with the system in the way that they need. Additionally, in our firm we're a very matrixed structure, so we need that impersonation function in order to provide different people with access to the system as and when they need it, rather than it being too hard-coded or too hard-wired and therefore too inflexible to deal with our matrix structure. We actually use the system as part of our partner moderation meetings and in this way it means that we can use the system in a live format to capture information, to capture aspects of the conversation and then using the auditability from the system we're able to lock in those decisions at the end of the meeting rather than consolidating numerous spreadsheets. The reporting is one of the principal features of the Pivot system and again depending on your needs from the system you can access the system and the reports that you need. These help us with compliance, so for example managing to our diversity targets around performance ratings and remuneration. Having a system that is updated real time, so we never have to worry about reports being outdated or new information has come in that requires an update in the report. And again, having simplified reporting means that we can spend more time coaching our business, HR business partners and, and, and thinking about our strategy. Very, very easy. If I could if I could share an anecdote around how we did our letters this year, we didn't settle the template for our letter, we didn't need to settle the template for our letter until a few days before going into letter production. And as always happens in organisations, there's tweaks to that letter, there might be new information that we want to put into that letter. And having the letters in the tool means that with a very minor update to the back end, we're able to make sure that the letters are 
all immediately updated. Sometimes what can happen is a change can come through as you're in the middle of a letter production and you can simply make that change knowing that when you go to print that letter, all the letters have been updated with that change. The amount of time that we've spent ensuring that the output is accurate is, is, is a fraction of what it was previously using spreadsheets. So when we have spreadsheets, you'd be constantly needing to make sure that the versions of that spreadsheet were correct, that once the information was consolidated, that there had been no further changes to that data, that there hadn't been any um, corruption to that spreadsheet. So I wouldn't say that the data is more accurate, but the time spent in checking for accuracy is a fraction of that time. And this therefore means that myself and the rest of the P&D or HR team is able then to focus on adding value, adding strategic add value to the business, having conversations with managers and our leaders and less time double checking, <coughs> triple checking spreadsheets. I think that it is a, an interface which is, is attractive and appealing to the user. I think it's flexibility, agility, it's ability to meet the needs of the business and the ability of Pivot to work alongside us in configuring the system in the way that we need it to be configured, but also challenging us on why, you know, a particular configuration isn't optimal, so challenging us on, on, on how best to, to configure the system. I think these are among, among the key benefits. I will never use spreadsheets again. They are cumbersome, they lead to inaccuracies, you have version control issues. I can't believe how anyone in my role would wish to use a spreadsheet again. What you, what you may gain in a little bit of flexibility, you absolutely lose in terms of accuracy, duplication, the auditability, the ability to go back into the system and to see when a recommendation was made. And that can be a great memory trigger, if nothing else. So no longer do we, are we disputing the version of the spreadsheet or who said what. The information is captured in real time. I would never go back to spreadsheets. Get rid of spreadsheets. Life's too short. <laughs>